Okay, we're back for part two of my um, subscriber contest winners um, video. It's just, I mean, it's not exactly a tutorial. It's obviously not a tutorial. It's just basically um, a sped up video of me painting the pictures. But, you know, if you take anything out of it, that's cool. If you just want to watch, that's cool too. So right now I'm working on Vanessa's eyebrows. Um, I had originally flatted out all the colors on flat. I say flat it out, um, it's not even a word, but I just, basically I'm saying it because I created, um, I put down the flat colors for uh, the whole image in different layers, and um, then I go back and add the shading and the tone. So that's what I say, what I mean when I say flat it out, even though Lord knows it's not any kind of correct phrase. But anyway, um, so Vanessa is wearing eyeliner and um, eyeshadow and whatnot, so uh, the process of, you know, shading her eyes is a little bit different because you have to, you know, add the eyeliner and do it dark and um, it's kind of, I smudged it out a little bit. Um, and then now I'm adding the eyeshadow on a separate layer so that I can tweak the color and the opacity of it to really get that, like, makeup kind of laying on the top of the skin sort of look. Um, and you'll see now that I'm zooming in, I made it slightly bluer. Um, and I'm just, you know, adding a little more dimension to the bridge of the nose and the eyes. So now I'm using a dark burgundy color to shade in the gums and the um, mouth and teeth. From this angle, you can see a little bit of the inside of her mouth, which is why I just went with the burgundy color. I just usually pick one color to um, add, like, teeth and everything like that. Um, so I'm also uh, using, like, a dark, muddy gray kind of color to, you know, add the shading between the teeth and everything, and now I just brightened it up a little bit. Um, even the whitest teeth are not white, and by, uh, you know, making them a slightly, slightly darker color, it gives you the opportunity to add, like, white shiny bits and, and whatnot to show, like, the surface of the teeth. Um, so now I'm doing the lips. I tweaked the color a little bit because it was a little um, too pink. I made it more blue. Um, and I'm pulling some of the skin color on top of the lipstick color to blend those lips down um, into the rest of the face. And I'm just blending, I'm just using a couple different burgundy colors. Now I'm using a textured brush, I just picked one out that I thought would do the job, to try to make it look like there's lip gloss. Um, lip gloss is shinier and, and you know more highly reflective, so there are going to be um, like brighter spots of of light uh, reflecting off the lips. So, I mean, I did a ton and then I pulled it back a little bit just so it wasn't like obnoxious, but that's how you, you know, make shiny lips. You just add um, points of points of extreme light. So now I'm working on the hair. Um, I got uh, like a taupey brown color for the highlight. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and add some stray hairs up front to, to make it look a little more wispy and a little less like, oh, there's this huge fat block of hair. Um, when you're laying down your hair color, I would probably recommend to not do it the way I did, which is I used the pen tool and I just created the shape of it. But I was just kind of on a roll doing it with all the other colors and so I just went with it. When you're painting out the hair, I would actually use a brush so that you don't have to go back in later and add the texture around the edges. So right now, I just created a curl on its own layer because I am beyond lazy and I uh, I created this particular curl and made a couple of variations of it and then I just duplicated it and added it in a few spots around the head to just kind of get me started on all these freaking curls because um, curly hair is beautiful but it is not by any stretch of the imagination my favorite thing to do so to just kind of save time because by this point this, this monstrosity had taken me forever and I was spending way too much time on it so I just duplicated the curls over and over again and just had to only had to paint about 50% of the hair originally. Um, so now I'm working on the, the bustier, the dress. I had made this scalloped like seashell pattern in the flat, in the flat colors but I decided I wanted to try to, to add some lace over the top of it so um, now I'm just shading it up to prepare it for the lace pattern that I grabbed. And um, if you want details on how to warp a pattern or overlay fabric, my Alice Cullen uh, tutorial is actually, it has um, some really good tips for that. It's all, uh, it's all in, if that particular portion is in real time, so you can actually see the steps that I'm taking, see me using the warp, warp tool and um, overlaying the pattern and whatnot. But 
Now I'm just adding a couple of folds to the fabric so it doesn't look so flat. And now I'm going to move on to our fellow. I had originally, um, you know, drawn his, his stance like it was in the image, but there was more going on off to the side so that his arm didn't look so retarded. But, you know, when you have it cropped so tight, it looks like he's standing really weird. So I just went in and kind of repositioned things. Um, and now I'm adding uh, a turquoise color. with It's got a lot of black in it. Um, I find that satiny fabrics usually um, have some more either black or, or they're really saturated. So I just I just did um, just a really dark shadow color to kind of add some contrast to it so that it looks like it's um, a shinier fabric. Now I'm just going through and adding the highlights. Um, whenever it comes to clothes, I usually keep it kind of rough and dirty for two reasons. One, I um, have already taken for freaking ever doing everything else, so like the last thing I give two craps about are the clothes. Um, but second, I don't know, I just like, I like a lot of texture in the fabrics. Um, and, um, and yeah, like I just, I like kind of free balling it with the clothes. But um, I overlaid a stripey, just textured uh, fabric pattern over his vest to just kind of give it some texture. I'm gonna do the same thing um, on his tie as soon as I finish laying down the shading. Um, and whenever I say overlay, I really do mean that it's uh, usually a layer on top of that other layer and the layer is set to overlay. The layer style is overlay. Um, multiply is also good, you know, but uh, overlay kind of works with, with light and dark colors. When you multiply your screen, you have to pick whether you want it to be darker or lighter. And, you know, so try play around with overlay. It's, a, it's really cool, especially when you're using um, other colors like when you're trying to put like add a little blue or some pink in the skin or a little green like the overlay is, is a, it's a pretty cool feature and, and it does a lot for, for your color and your tone and everything. So I'm just uh, I just went in with some gray to shade the shirt and um, kind of just add some, some texture and a little bit of thickness to it to the fabric and I'm, I was using um, the uh, Gradient tool that uh, if you if you don't see it, it's because you've got your paint bucket tool selected, and you just have to like click on it and switch up the tool. But anyway, now I'm moving back over. I had forgotten to give her a necklace, so I'm just adding a little necklace. Um, by this point, I was really tired of it, so I was like super quick and dirty. So just added some reflection to the skin and um, added another layer with it blurred up so that it looks shiny. And there you go. I put in a fabric textured background of uh, brown to like match the skin and then I also went in and painted the glasses for a second option. So congratulations to Vanessa and thank you to everyone who entered and hopefully I'll have another contest soon. Bye. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. Get down. Get down. Oh, 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 oh. God. Okay. Nibbles down. Okay. Nibbles. Oh, God. This is Nibbles. She thinks she's a lap dog. But, ow. She's Big as shit. So, oh my God! Oh, oh goodness! Oh gracious! Oh nipples! Oh say hi! Say hi! Oh, oh not on me! Not on me! Not on me! Ah! Say hi nipples! What's this? What's this? We're here! Oh! <laughs> Don't jump on me! Jesus Christ! Oh, there she is! Say who's that? Nibbles. 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 Nibb